What is pressure? In physics, pressure is the result of a force applied vertically to a surface. If liquids or gases at rest are in a closed vessel, the pressure acts equally in all directions. It acts equally and always perpendicularly to the surfaces of the vessel. Gravity, which acts on the air, also causes constant pressure. On the Earth, for example, atmospheric pressure. This depends, among other things, on the weather. In a space where the pressure is lower than the ambient pressure, there is negative pressure. In practice, a negative pressure is often also referred to as a vacuum. What happens to negative pressure? Medical suction systems use negative pressure to transport air, fluids or both. An electric or mechanical pump creates negative pressure. This leads to a force which moves air and or fluid. What is the meaning of suction and flow? Suction is the application of negative pressure to move air, liquids or solids. While negative pressure is static, suction refers to the dynamic effect that sets fluids in motion. Flow, or flow rate, is a measurable quantity. It refers to the amount of matter that is moved within a certain time. Flow is measured by the volume of air, or fluid, moved per minute. The unit is liters per minute. When extracting, the device's maximum flow rate is an important criterion. It indicates how quickly negative pressure can be built up at the beginning of therapy and the maximum volume that can be drained in any given period of time. A pump can generate a maximum vacuum and transport a maximum volume. If the fluid drains too quickly, the negative pressure decreases and cannot be maintained. What types of systems are used in medicine? A distinction is made between devices with high, medium or low vacuum. The higher the vacuum is set, the higher the force acting on the material to be drained, and the higher the suction. Depending on the vacuum strength, medela pumps are used in different settings whenever extraction is required. Summary In physics, Pressure is the result of a force acting perpendicularly on a plane surface. In a space where the pressure is lower than the ambient pressure, there is negative pressure. To put it simply, vacuum can be defined as negative pressure. With our medical suction systems, we apply negative pressure to transport air or liquids or both. A pump with a higher flow builds up a vacuum faster and can draw more fluids and air while maintaining negative pressure. A higher vacuum causes a higher force to be applied to the liquids to be drained, which means a higher suction. 